Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And today we're going to be reviewing Penhaligon's Blenheim Bouquet. So Charles Philippe, introduced in 1902 and included in our Winston Churchill fragrance um, reviews, uh, where you can see the link above me here, this is Penelagans Blenheim Bouquet. As always, do you want to introduce this fragrance using our quantifiable matrix, the Bespoke Unit Fragrance Formula? Indeed, Bespoke Unit Fragrance Formula right here. You can download your own copy to use at home. Just look in the description below and it's yours. Let's pop on a little bit, eh? You want some? Boom. So what are you getting? Citrus. Citrus. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. You have a head of lavender, lime and uh, lemon, which is very reminiscent of a traditional eau de cologne. Even though this is an eau de toilette, it has all the hallmarks of an eau de cologne, including sure. its performance. Eventually, and very quickly, you'll get down to the base, you don't even have a heart, and you go straight to pepper, pine, and labdanum, which is quite musky, but in a kind of floral, or more like, yeah, flora sense. Oh, this is done flora. in a very light manner. You yeah. know, it's not, oh, when yeah. you say musky, don't be, be scared by that, you know, as if mm. this is definitely a spring summer fragrance. Labdanum is a flower, it just has this kind of earthy animal scent to it, so sure. it's not like really kind of, it's not castorum, it's not one of these really strong masculine Aramis style. Uh, sure. Uh, Monsters. Monsters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So that's its composition. Uh, sure. It belongs to the citrus aromatic family, and uh, as I mentioned, it's an eau de toilette, but it performs just like an eau de cologne. Sure, I think, um, you know, if you're looking for a historic fragrance, this is one that you may want to explore. Mm. Um, there are others, like the uh, Floris 127, Special exactly. 127, that is uh, kind of citrusy, floral, herbal, that may be a bit more interesting. This, as you say, is quite linear. Mm. But moving on, we were talking about wake, strength, and uh, kind of longevity. Where where are you putting this one? Now for the sillage, it's very weak, very tight. You can leave a slight trail behind you right after application when you're walking around the house. I mean, even but now that you... spray yeah. definitely massively dissipated already. And Absolutely. We're, we're filming for a couple of minutes. So. Exactly. Yeah. So projection is the same, very weak. As soon as you leave the house, really, this has died. So if you want to wear this out and about, you're going to need a travel atomizer. And in terms of longevity, Nothing. Nothing, you know, about an hour tops. So if we look at third party feedback, the third party feedback that I got was it's very pleasant, um, if however fleeting, some mm. people were like, are you wearing anything? It almost, you could have just washed your hands with a citrusy bar of soap, mm. um, and then that would have been it really. It's not, it's not a projector, it's not, mm. again, it's not offensive, Great spring summer fragrance, however, you've got to be really aware that it's not going to last mm. on the skin. It's actually my, my wife's favourite for me to wear. She, oh, okay. she absolutely loves it. So, sure. in terms of third body feedback on my end, it's very positive, but it's only right after wearing it. Which kind of goes towards the usage. When would you sure. wear this? Uh, I think it's like daytime, yeah. casual, maybe when you got uh, home from the office and you just wanted a little freshen up. Um, I don't think it's a good date fragrance. Mm. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of one of those ones. I mean, I own this in my collection just because mm. of the, the Churchill connection more than anything. Um, but kind of with that, uh, I mean, what what time of day would you say it works for? Definitely daytime. Uh, if it were for the evening, I would wear it. Actually, I use this and introduce it into my grooming re regimen, which means that after a shower, I'll spray it on, like back of, back of each ear, here and here, or even at the base of the throat, just to freshen up after a shower. Or even if I'm feeling quite a bit a bit grimy on a really hot day, I'll spray, splash them on a, a handkerchief, rub it on the back of my neck, you know, just to freshen up, much like you would use a, a traditional eau de cologne such as 4711. Sure. If you're looking to buy this as a gift for someone or for yourself, I'm going to say it's going to be in the 30, 40 plus age range. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not one you're going to want to buy your teenage nephew mm -mm. or son. Uh, I don't think it'd be overly appreciated. There's probably much better options out there. As for value for money, as we're talking about a gift, this retails 100 mil at 98 pounds, which at the moment is around $140 uh, with the exchange rate. You can find it 
on some of the online uh, retailers. Links below for around 50 to $70, which is almost outrageously expensive. It is very expensive. For what it is. For what it is, exactly. Yeah. You've got a very sort of fleeting fragrance and you do get some pleasure out of it. I absolutely love the fragrance. But if you're interested in a cheaper alternative, there are things like 4711, which is a probably a tenth of the price for the same quantity. We've yeah, actually reviewed 10, it. What, 10, 15 bucks? <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much for 100 yeah. mil, or even 400 mil. It is ridiculously cheap. You can see a review in the top corner here and down at the bottom. Uh, it's, it's outstanding for the price, but it is much less refined and much less premium than this. It is quite is a cheap fragrance, so sure. it's not as uh, complex. Yeah, so I mean, you, it is... We're trying to do apples to apples on that comparison, but obviously mm. we are talking at the drastically different price point. So it's different price point, but it is the same concept: eau de cologne, citrus head, lavender, and then down to a tiny little bit of labdanum for a bit of musk. Same usage, you know, into your grooming regimen. So it's something that's very similar, but again, not as refined for obvious reasons as Paul mentioned. So I think it comes down to two things: should you buy it, yes or no? Yes, if you're like me, who one likes the Churchill connection, two introduces it into their grooming regimen, and three really appreciates, um, you know, kind of the historical perspective and the kind of cologne aspect um, and the freshness. Do not buy it if you're kind of budget conscious. Mm. Um, not to kind of put anyone on the spot there, but it's probably not a great value for money fragrance. No, um, do not buy it if you're looking for a power frag or something that's going to be lo uh, long lasting. That'd be a crushing disappointment. <laughs> yeah, crushing. So yeah, I think there, are, I think there is a definite yes camp where you could justify buying this, mm. um, and I think there is a, a definite no camp where this doesn't make sense. Yeah. So yeah, that pretty much um, nicely. Yeah. So with that, any closing thoughts, Charles? Uh, I think you should just uh, caress or smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, with interaction, please uh, ask any uh, questions you have below or leave any comments you have about this fragrance. Fragrances you may seem are similar, such as the 4711 recommendation that Charles mm. had. And like this video if you indeed liked it. So with those final words, my name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And from all of us here at Bespoke Unit, see you next time. Take care.